Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today I've got another build-out video for you. And this one is going to be on the X-Hover Element 5-inch. Now, I have this X-Hover Element 5-inch in the shop here, and it was a used one that was in really good shape. And um, so I'm going to build it for a customer. And let's go over some of the components that we're going to use. First off, let's go to the PDB since it's right here. This is the Hub OSD. This has built-in OSD, and it's a really good system. Um, you know, a lot of them did have some noise, and so now um, Hub OSD has included the some cap, um, voltage caps so that w it cleans up the signal. So I really do appreciate that. Let's go on here. Now, I apologize for my voice again, guys. I'm kind of battling the cold. As far as flight controller, well, this is the F303. This is from Fox here. And I guess they're going to be discontinuing this, which I'm sad because this has been a really rock solid flight controller for me. I've, you know, I build a lot of these things. And so I see little problems that arise after using multiple, multiple ones. You know, if you if you go through and you build, you know, five or six drones in a week, you see, you know, failures that, that, um, due to numbers. And, um, so I've just been, this has been one of the, the best flight controllers I've ever had as far as no issues with connection or just nothing like that. So I'll be sad to see that go as far as motors. This is the Hyperlite. This is the V2 2205. Let's see if we can get on there. 2205. This is the 2300 KV motor. And we've talked about this motor before. I absolutely love this motor. Very efficient, very well balanced right out of the box. And so that's what we're going to run with. As far as ESCs, this is the Spedix or Speedix or however you want to pronounce it. It's S P E D I X. This is the ES25 amp, and this is the BL Heli S ESC. We're going to be running the race. This is the TBS Pro. This is the race version, and this is the uh, this has the ability to run on straight LiPo power, and it is 200 milliwatts. We're going to be running the standard X4R receiver. This is the FR Sky X4R receiver and I'll go ahead and take it out of the out of the container here and I'll shrink tube it so that it's nice and clean as far as camera standard IR block 600 TVL camera from Pyro drone this is basically um, kind of my go-to camera really good quality camera uh, standard Pyro drone this is a rebranded Fox ear 5.8 antenna and so it this should be a really good performer this is not going to be be um, something that's going to have any kind of uh, weird intricacies it's just a real straightforward build but um, when everything is said and done it really should be a nice smooth flyer which is what this gentleman really wanted and yet it will still have plenty of power to be competitive if he does decide to race. Now, uh, the VTX um, in here is not going to go on this build because we are running the Hub OSD with built-in OSD. Um, but, you know, these are really good frames. Uh, you basically have the frames come in in a pair. So you have one set is this way and the other set is that way. And then you have this connecting um, brace here. And they're just really durable. They take a take a pretty good beating, and um, and they're nice and small. As opposed to, you know, we had first talked about doing a Martian two frame, and you know, you know my opinion on the Martian two. It's a very good frame for the money, um, but you know, it is a little oversized. And um, since I had this one, you know, this is a far superior frame in my opinion to the Martian. So that's what we're going to do for this gentleman. So. As we get further in the build and once we get it all done, I'll kind of give you my final thoughts on it, okay? Guys, I appreciate you. We're at 1,100 subscribers and we keep on going and I just appreciate the community and how you guys talk to each other and, and answer each other's questions and I just absolutely love that. So 
Hope you have a great day today. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com and hope you get a chance to fly.